at six. Empty. It's very quiet compared to what it used to be. Hundreds of items are being auctioned off today as a local school district prepares to say goodbye to a historic school building. Good evening, I'm Emily Braun. PBL East Lawn School closed after the school year and is set to be torn down this August. But before that, everything must go. WCI 3's Jen Lask went to the auction this morning. And Jen, what brought people to it? Well, for some, it was about finding items that could be used in their businesses and homes, but others tell me they came back to buy something that's hard to put a price on, nostalgia. For decades, students and teachers have filled these halls, sat in these chairs, and lined up in this cafeteria. But now, people are gathering inside for a different purpose, an auction. I kind of wanted to relive some old memories and kind of see what might be able to take home with me. Some have a specific wish list. Knives, refrigerators, coolers, steamers. Ryan Ansack and his coworkers are stocking up for their restaurant equipment business. Um, unfortunately, we don't like seeing schools close down, but sometimes it's time to move on and we'll be here to come pick up the rest. And while his trip took several hours, for others, it's a different kind of journey going years back. I came here for a 1940s um, music contest plaque that my mother was part of. Becky Prina's mother passed away three years ago. She's been waiting all day for this plaque. But um, it's pretty cool. It's uh... While an auctioneer will have to put a price to the plaque, Prina knows the memories lying on these tables are simply priceless. This band w uh, went on to win national that year. And my mom was a saxophone player and she won national all four years in high school. So it's a pretty important plaque for my mom's collection. She doesn't plan to leave empty handed, but... I got a pretty good photo of it, just in case. <laughs> And just before the show, Becky emailed me to let me know she was able to get her mother's 1940 band plaque and her father's 1938 basketball plaque. She says she is tickled pink. If you also bought items at the auction today but didn't bring them home with you, you'll have a couple of weeks to stop by the school to grab those items. Live in the newsroom, Jen Lask, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Now she has another piece to remember her parents by. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Jen. After East Lawn Elementary School is torn down, students in grades 3 through 5 will move to Clara Peterson Elementary School. It's all part of a $30 million referendum for the school district. Both the high school and Clara Peterson are being upgraded, and the elementary school is getting a 65,000 square foot addition. A Missouri woman is dead after a crash near Cumberland County. It happened on Interstate 70 westbound near Miami.